వీడ్కోలు సమావేశంలో సిజేఐ జస్టిస్ ఎన్ వి రమణ మాట్లాడుతున్నారు లైవ్ చూద్దాం విత్ పర్సన్స్ ఆఫ్ వేరియస్ ఐడియాలజీస్ అండ్ బ్రాడ్ అండ్ మై హరోజన్స్ దే టాట్ మీ యాజ్ హౌ టు లివ్ ఇన్ ఐసోలేషన్ ఇన్ అన్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ వేర్ యూ కెనాట్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ఆర్ షేర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఇష్యూస్ ఐ విట్నెస్ ది రెజిలెన్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ ఎక్సిస్టెన్స్ ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ స్ట్రగుల్స్ డిగ్నిటీ ఇన్ పావర్టీ అండ్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్లీ అన్షేకబుల్ హోప్ అండ్ ఫెయిత్ త్రూ దీస్ ordinary everyday experiences i developed the extraordinary fashion of serving the people being a first generation lawyer i have faced many challenges in my life and realized that except the hard work there is no shortcut to success the journey of struggle and bitter and bitter experiences in my career helped me to diversify my activities i had the opportunity of defending the state in several cases i watched the important events of this country unfolding from close quarters i always accepted rejection as god's redirection and retained my honesty and integrity i want to every advocate to remember that sometimes life scares you and beats up you but there is a day when you realize that you are not just a survivor you are a warrior you are tougher than anything that is thrown you way my professional life was also full of challenges to begin with i was in two minds to be a judge or to become the people to offer leadership i believe in destiny in god and the blessings of the almighty it has been the honor of my life to be elevated as a judge i accepted it with full all humility i always remembered myself while functioning as a judge on my privileged obligation to discharge services to this great society once i became a judge i gave my heart and mind to it from the date i joined bench i reached the highest possible position in the judiciary i have subjected to conspiratorial scrutinies my family and i suffered in silence but ultimately the truth will always prevail satyame vajete at this juncture i am reminded the words of martin luther king junior the ultimate measure of man is not where he stands in the moment of comfort and convenience but where he stands at times of challenges and controversies unquote anything and everything that i could achieve over only after facing a lot of struggle setbacks and hardships in life i have embraced all the challenges that came my way and strengthened myself and understood that every failure carried with a seed of equivalent advantage i never claimed myself to be a scholarly judge or a great judge but i have always believed that the ultimate purpose of justice delivery system is to provide justice to the common man i have elaborated in my career earlier speeches as how difficult the life of a judge is your health also gets ruined in the process only judges and lawyers understand this aspect of judge's life it is for you people lawyers particularly to explain to the people of hard work involved in a judge's life now coming back to the jurisprudence in the last 75 years of our jurisprudence have evolved considerably our judiciary is not defined by a single order or decision yes at times it felt sort of people's expectations but most of times it has championed the cause of the people it is widely predicted that the ak gopalan case the due process of law was history but this court in case of manaka gandhi restored what was taken away earlier similarly adm jabalpur was seen as a death canner on personal liberty subsequently the error was stood rectified by nine judges bench in k s puttaswami 
the institution never hesitated to remedy itself. Your hope upon the institution cannot be so weak that it is, that it is shattered with one perceived unfair judgment. When it comes to an individual judge, the expectations are very high. In the game of cricket, the player is expected to hit every ball for a six. After all, everyone loves to hit six but, and win a close off for himself and the team. But only a player knows as how to deal with each ball given the conditions of the pitch, the style of bowling and the placement of the fielders. At times, the circumstances may not allow him to score even a single run. The advocates are best placed to understand this predicament of a judge and dispel wrong notions about them. Here I would like to read out the senior advocate Mr. Sanjay Hirde wrote in a newspaper article, I quote, This is in the context where I have decided a case of Anuradha Bhasin, where right to speech right to access to internet, etc. There is a criticism that I have not given full relief. I quote that article. When a senior advocate asked Justice Bhagavati about the dichotomy between the reasoning and the relief, that is in Menaka Gandhi and R.D. Setti, the judge explained that his brother judges were only concerned with the relief being denied in those cases. Nyaya Vastalot and a Prasanam Gurchi, Vidkol Sabalo, CJ, and Viramana Prasangin Chidam. The Purple Lelo Chusam, 